Hello there. I'm going to show you today how to create receiver operating characteristics curves or ROC curves using Stata. So I have my Excel file here. I'm going to load that. You will see that in Stata. You can see I have imported the Excel file. Now we can look at the data set um, so you can understand it a little bit better. Um, you will see four different variables here. Uh, to do an ROC curve, you're basically comparing um, uh, a particular set of measurements against a reference standard. So in this case, what I did was um, I had four different thermometers. My oral thermometer is the reference standard. I have a tympanic thermometer, a forehead thermometer, and a contactless thermometer. Uh, these are the temperature readings for um, each of these uh, thermometers. You can see I have several measurements, a couple of hundred measurements. Um, so for each um, subject, I took four different temperature readings. Oral temperature being the reference, and then I also took three other temperature readings for each subject. So in my ROC curve, what I'm going to do is compare uh, the tympanic um, measurement against the oral, compare the forehead measurement against the oral, uh, contactless against oral. So we have loaded the data set now. You have taken a look at the data. Now what we can do is uh, run the ROC curve. So you go to graphics, ROC analysis, compare ROC curves. Uh, first you need to uh, uh, select the reference variable. In my case it's the oral temperature. Classification variable are the uh, the other measurements or the variables that you're comparing. So tympanic is one. Uh, you can add additional um, classification variables. So I added three different classification variables uh, that I will be comparing against oral. I want to graph the ROC curve, so I will check that box. I also want to see the area under the ROC curve. Um, as you know, the closer the area to one, um, the better the performance of that device. So I want to uh, see the area under the ROC curve. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to submit uh, and I'll show you what happens. Okay, so I, I got an error message here. It says the true status variable oral must be zero or one. Um, so this is, uh, I did this on purpose to show you that the reference variable is also the truth variable. Uh, and what I mean by that is uh, for a stata to do the ROC, we have to decide or we have to sh um, define uh, the reference variable uh, uh, when it's true and when it's false. Um, so let me um, show you what that means. So I'm going to go back to my do file. You can see um, I have these two additional commands here. I need to define a variable called oral fever and that variable will be one or it will be true anytime the oral um, temperature is greater than or equal to 38 and when it's uh, less than 38 it will be zero so what it's doing is it's defining a new variable called oral fever and that variable will be true whenever the oral temperature is greater than or equal to 38 so what I'm comparing is for each of the other variables for example the tympanic forehead contactless against this standard so I'm gonna execute these two commands and we will go back and look at the data set again you can see I have created a new variable oral fever you can see anytime the oral temperature is less than 38 uh, my oral fever or the truth variable is zero anytime it's greater than 38 it's one uh, and this is how we are defining this data uh, true, um, uh, true and false or the, or the reference standard. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare these 
three classification variables not against the oral uh, temperature reading but against the uh, the true or false or, or the truth status of the oral uh, temperature that's the only way uh, you can run the ROC curve uh, you, you, you have to define the reference as true or false not as a continuous variable so now we will go back to stata um, uh, let's look here so in this case I'm gonna choose my reference variable as oral fever remember this is the true or false variable not a continuous variable you can keep the classification variables the same we're still going to graph the ROC curve and we're going to report the area under the curve. So let, let's submit it and see what happens. And here you have uh, the beautiful ROC curve. Uh, this diagonal line is the reference standard. Um, and the red line is, as you can see, the forehead thermometer and has given you the uh, the ROC area under the curve uh, the next one in blue is the tympanic temperature reading or the timp tympanic thermometer again you can see the area under the curve uh, the contactless is, is the green line and it has uh, given you the area under the curve um, and each of these are being plotted against um, the oral thermometer which is our reference standard so it doesn't plot the oral uh, it plots the other three classification variables uh, you can also do this uh, by writing the code I can um, show you here um, so I have put it as common but you can uh, look at uh, the code here uh, if you want to manually code this you can change the color or you can change the um, the um, the line pattern for that what you do is you go to uh, your plot menu here for each plot so each of this is a curve so plot one you can go and edit uh, you can um, set it as a um, scatter plot you can choose what symbol you want you can choose what color you want um, and it will change um, um, the plot characteristics you can go back to plot 2 um, you can again do it as a scatter um, you can change the symbol to a hollow diamond if you like uh, let's see what happens when we change the color Wait. Accept. so let's submit and it will create a new plot you can see now instead of the line it's a scatter plot uh, and it has changed the color and the pattern of um, two of the plots. So I hope that was helpful for you. Thank you for watching.